Good morning students. How are you? Hope you are all in the pink of health. I am Otunu Rai and you are watching Bond Making and Bond Breaking channel. Now today I am going to give you the rest of the chemical reactions of aldehydes. So let's go. The next chemical reactions of aldehydes. So, today I am going to discuss with you with some problems as well as it complete our, our <coughs> chemical reactions. Okay. So, first, <coughs> so the first, Bayard bigger. So, the first problem is Bayard. So the next problem is Bayard vinegar. <coughs> so so the next problem is Bayard vinegar. Okay. So I take a problem if it is given R C O O R. If it is given, okay, you should use for Bayard vinegar. C6H5CO3H. This is a problem that is given. Then the product is or the answer should be R C double bond O O R. Okay. Now take an example CH3. C double bond O C H3 and you want to react with this C6 H5 C C6 H5 C O O O H that is CO3 H so you get so you get R R means CH3 so I write C H three C double bond O C H three C O and then O extra O C H three. This reaction is called Bayer vinegar reaction. Okay. Now, take more examples. If you are given CH3, C double bond O, and then benzene, then benzene, you may use CF3, you may use CF3, CO3H, you may use it. What will be the product? The product is CH3 what will be the product product is CH3CO CH3 C double bond O and you add another O then join this benzene this product is called biophilical product okay now take more examples if you given if you are given CH3 whole 3 C C double bond O now the problem is <coughs> CH3 this problem is given and then you should use CF3 COH this what will be the product the product is CH3 CO firstly CH3 C double bond O then you should add O then you should add O to this huge group C C so CH3 CO then you should add another O this is biophilical product O and C CH3 CH3 whole 3 whole 3 those reactions are Bayer-Hilliger 
reactions okay you should also use diamond oxygen now we take another examples now we take another examples we take these examples um, <clears throat> this is benzene and then you added cf3 cf3 c triple o h with german oxygen what will be the product the product is c double bond o then o o then this benzene this product is called bayer villiger product okay then <clears throat> the next reaction is reduction reaction then the next reaction is reduction reaction for reduction reaction if you use hcho with with h2 and ni for reduction rani ni or rani nickel then what will be the product if you write hcho in this way double bond o h if you write in this way you should break this bond and you add it to h here so the product is ch3oh so the product is ch3 ch3oh so the product is ch3oh okay now you take more examples ch3 cho then you added hydrogen and ni so this is ch3 so the product ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 ch2 oh so this is ch3 ch3 ch2 ch2 oh this is called reduction reaction if you have ketone ch3 c double bond o ch3 then you use hydrogen and ni then this has h also change into ch3 so what will be the product the bond is broken then h and h here so ch3 ch3 choh choh and then ch3 so this is for formaldehyde reduction this is for aldehyde or acetaldehyde reduction and this is for ketones reduction this is reduction reactions okay <coughs> next next <coughs> you may use sodium borohydrate or sodium borohydrate or lithium aluminium hydrate sodium borohydrate or lithium aluminium hydrate so if we compare those two lithium aluminium hydrate lithium aluminium hydrate strong good stronger reducing stronger reducing agent okay lithium aluminium is stronger reducing agent compared than sodium borohydrate now <clears throat> take a problem ch double bond ch then cho i give you this problem ch3 ch double bond ch and then ch3 ch double bond ch then cho then if you react with lithium aluminium hydrate 
or if you react with sodium borohydrate it is with methanol what will be the product and it it should be on dry ether what will be the product if we use lithium aluminum hydrate the product is the product is it break this bond and it also reduced this so the product is ch3 if this pi bond is broken then you add one h here and another h here so ch one h is added so ch2 if one h is added ch2 so ch3 then ch2 one h is added so ch and one h is added so it is called um, a ch2 so the product is ch2 then this is also ch you added one more hydrogen so you get ch and then you get one more hydrogen so this is called ch2 so ch2 and then <coughs> ch2 converted into oh so this is oh okay oh sorry C um, ch2h ch2oh how this if we write in this way double bond o h then you break this you added h and one h so this is ch2oh ch2h so you get ch2h but using sodium borohydrate you get only ch3 you cannot break this carbon bond because it cannot break carbon carbon double bond it cannot break it can only break c double bond o but by using lithium aluminium hydrate it can break c double bond c and it also can reduce this c double bond o okay so the product is ch double bond ch it cannot break this pi bond and this is ch2oh so if we, if you use lithium aluminium hydrate then you get ch3 ch2 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 and this is ch2oh ch2h but if you use sodium borohydrate nabh4 then you get ch3 ch double bond ch and this is ch2oh so this is the product okay now take more examples <clears throat> If you have this problem CH3 C double bond O CH2 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 COO C2H5 if you have this then one reaction and the another reaction one reaction by UV by using NaBH4 sodium borohydrate with with methanol CH3OH with methanol and another is lithium aluminium hydrate with lithium aluminium hydrate with with dry ether with dry ether. so you get this you get the product this one is broken H and H so the product is CH3 so the product is CH3 C H you break this one so H is added here H is added here so CH OH okay CH OH so CH OH then CH2 CH2 COO C2 H5 this is the product but if you add a lithium aluminium hydrate what will be the product it gives you one is it gives you two product ch3 it gives you the first product ch3 chh ch3 chh then ch2 ch2 then ch2 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 then oh okay and it gives you C2H5OH. So C2H5OH. 
it gives you true product it breaks this bond also this is the basic difference if you added sodium borohydrate with methanol you get this product it can break only this bond and h is added here h is added here. but if you use lithium aluminum hydride the product is ch3c ch2ch2 oh and it also form alcohol and ethanol so this is the basic difference okay let's go <coughs> for mpv reduction let's go for mpv reduction mpv reduction for mpv reduction you use aluminium isopropoxide so this is <coughs> you should use ch3 hole 2 cho hole 3 aluminium okay aluminium isopropoxide aluminium isopropoxide so i give you this problem by using this aluminium isopropoxide you cannot break this bond okay you can break this bond only so the product is so the product is you cannot break this bond so this bond is here and it forms when it break it forms oh so h and it, it this carbon also get a hydrogen so this is h this is called mpv reduction okay so th this is the problem now next problem is on candy zero so the next problem is candy zero reaction okay so the next problem is candy zero reaction <clears throat> Candijaro reaction. For Candijaro reaction, if you use which have not alpha carbon HCHO and HCHO, then if you use 50% NaOH, you get a product. The product is you get HCOONA and another is CH3OH. This is candy zero reaction. Okay. I give you more problems on candy zero reaction. If you have CH3, C, CH3, CH3, then CHO. You take this CH3, C. CH3, CH3, same component CH3, CH2. What will be the product? The product is CH3, C, CH3, CH3, this is C double O NA. C double O NA. Or another, another is CH3, C. CH3 then CH2OH then CH2OH by using 50% NaOH okay one is CWNA and another is CH2OH I give you another example to understand it okay I give you C six H five C H O. Then I take another C six H five C H O. Okay. Then if you use fifty percent N A O H, fifty percent N A O H, you get C six H five C O O N A and C six H5 this is CHO so you can write CH2OH okay C 
CH2OH. How CH2OH? C CHO, you break this bond, you get one hydrogen here, one another hydrogen here. So this is CH2OH. What is it? This is CHO. That means C double bond OH. You break this bond, so H is added here, H is added here. So CH2OH. So you get CH2OH. I give you the tricks, not the mechanism. Can you generate reaction? <coughs> Then, then the reaction is pinacol pinacolon reaction. Okay, pinacol pinacolon reaction. Pinacol pinacolon reaction. You take CH three C double bond O CH three. Then CH three. This is called pinacolon. CH3CH. If you take this and if you use Mg and Hg, okay, Mg and Hg, the product will, the product will, CH3C, CH3 bond C, CH3. CH3 just Mg O and O so Mg is added. okay then by use by using H3O plus it get OH and it also get OH so the product is CH3 C CH3OH then C then CH3 OH then CH3. This is called pinacol. This is called pinacol and this is pinacolon. So pina pinacol pinacolon reaction. Very easy reaction. You just break this bond, you just break this bond, and Mg is added here. So this bond is occurred. So what will be the next product? What is what is the next product? Mg is added here with those two oxygen, and bond is broken. This bond and this bond is broken when you use this Mg. Okay. Then you added H3O plus OH is here, another OH is here. So this is pinacol and this is pinacol. So the reaction is pinacol pinacolon reaction. Okay. Copy it. Now I give you <clears throat> a short note. If you have R C double bond O R, if you have this, then if you want to use hydrogen with nickel or palladium or platinum. Or if you want to use lithium aluminium hydride, or if you want to use sodium boro hydride, the product is this bond is broken, H is here, H is here. So the product is for those three, for those three, the product is R, R, then. CH for CH and OH. This bond is broken. H is added here. So H is added here. So the product is CHOH and another R. So the product is this. Okay. R CHOH. 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 R. But if you use ZN AG. If you use general energy, this is Clemenson reaction. Or if you want to use NH2, NH2 and KOH heat. This is Clemenson reaction. This is Ulf Kistner reaction. Or if you want to use red P and HI. 
and heat. So, Clemenson reaction, Ulf Krishna reaction, or reduction, normal reduction reaction, you get a product that is this O is removed and H2 is added. So, the product is for those three, the product is R, O is removed. So, you get CH2. See, O is removed by two hydrogen by giving two hydrogen H2 due to the carbon's valency and R. So, for this side, you remove, you remove a bond. You remove a bond and give hydrogen 1 for carbon and another for oxygen. For this side, for your, for the left side and for the right side, remove one oxygen and add two hydrogen yes. you add a hydrogen h2 this is a simple trick for Clevenson for Ulf Kisner you remove this oxygen and you add it h2 okay. Then the reaction is Novenagal reaction. Novenagal reaction. Novenagal reaction. For Novenagal reaction, if you take this CH3, CH, then double bond O. I take this acetal guide CH3, CHO. I write it this way CH3, CHO. Then <coughs> You take a A star that is COOH, COOC2H5, COOC2H5. If you remove this water for Novenagal reaction, if you added uh, pyridine and heat, okay, pyridine and heat. If you remove this water, you get this product CH3C. H. Then C. So you added H1 here. CH double bond C. Then COO C2H5. COO C2H5 for this. Okay. Finally, I, I remove this water molecule. And if you remove this water molecule, you should add it one hydrogen here. So, CH, 1, 2, 3, 4, CH, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh, sorry. So, C double bond C, so this is the product. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. You remove this, so carbon, carbon, double bond here, carbon, double, double bond here. This is the product, this is. And CH, this, CH, this, H, H. Okay. So, only I remove this water. And form carbon carbon double bond. Then, if you use KOH, you get here K and here. So the product is CH3 CH double bond C C double O K C double O K. Okay. Then, okay, clear. Just I remove this C2H5, C2H5 and you added K, potassium, for using KOH. It removes C2H5, OH, OH, C2H5, OH. So you added COOK, okay, COOK. Then if you acidify it by H3O+, you get COH, COH. Right. Then, if you acidify it, you get H3O plus. For acidify it, you get CH3 CH CH3 CH double bond 
कौन सी सी ओ एच सी ओ एच एंड सी ओ ओ एच ओके देन यू गेट सो दिस इज द प्रोडक्ट वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री दिस इज द प्रोडक्ट देन यू रिमूव दिस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड यू गेट द मेन प्रोडक्ट सी एच थ्री सी एच डबल बॉन्ड सी एच सी ओ एच सी ओ एच ओके बाई यूजिंग के यू गेट के सी ओ के सी ओ ओ के देन यू एसिडिफाइड इट के इज यू एंड यू पुट यू पुट एच प्लस एच प्लस एच सो एच एंड एच देन यू रिमूव दिस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो यू गेट सी एच थ्री सी एच सी एच सी डबल एच Another is reform max max key reaction. So another is reform max key. Reform max key. Reform max key reaction. You take C H three C H O. Okay. Plus you may use CH two B I and COO C two H five. I take acetaldehyde and I take this compound also. Then you use zinc, ether, and dilute acid for reform reform Yes. So what do you get? You get this. You can write CHO in this way. CHO, C double bond O, and H. So you remove this H and H. So you get CH two O H C CH three CH three. You get CH three C H O H. C H O H, then C H two, then C H two, then C H two C O O C two H one. Okay, one two three four one two three. H B R is removed from here. So C H three C O. This if you read actually H and H added. So C H three C. If we break this pi bond, you get H and H, so CH three CH OH, CH three CH OH, and then H pair is removed, so CH two CH two. This is Reformatsky reaction. Okay. Okay. Now see the next problem. If it is given that this problem is for Kalnijaro reaction, if you <coughs> see and you want to react with PCl5, what will be the product? What will be the product? The product will be CH2Cl. This is the product. Product will be this. This is very important problem. C H two, C H C L. Then, if you are given this problem, this is Kalnijaro kind of reaction. You think about it, C H O C H O. Then, if you are if you are given fifty percent energy, this is Kalnijaro kind of reaction. So one is C W O N, another is C H three O H. So, for this reaction, you get this is C double O N A, C double O N A, 
C O O N. Okay, this is C O O N A thing, and you get C H two H. C H two H. This is can be zero reaction, and this is simple. There are more <coughs> problems if you are given then we are two and anhydrous Al Cl three Cl two okay for halogenation reaction or if you CH3Cl and anhydrous AlCl3 or CH3COCl and anhydrous AlCl3 or if you have concentrated HNO3 and H2SO4 or for only using con a concentrated H2 SO4. So, what will be the products? For this, Cl, Cl is removed, LCl4, so Cl is here, so the product is CHO and Cl on the meta position because it is meta open. Then, similarly, this is CH3 plus. So this is also metabolization CH3, AlCl4, so COCH3, then nitration, HNO3 and H2SO4, it gives you NO2, okay, so on the metabolization NO2, and concentrated H2SO4, it gives you SO3H, so on metabolization, this is CHO, so on metabolization SO3H. This is halogenation reaction. As I know, this is fiddle crop alkylation, fiddle crop acylation, nitration, and sulfonation. Okay, copy it or take a screenshot. Okay. Now, the next reaction prepares cinnamic acid. If you have CHO, you just use CH3CO hold to O. CH3CO2CO CO hold to acidic anhydride. Okay? Acetic anhydride. For acetic anhydride, you should use CH3C double O Na and heat. CH3C double Na and heat. You take benzene dehyde, you take acetic anhydride, then use this substance for reaction. You get cinnamic acid. This is the preparation of cinnamic acid. Very important. This is preparation. Of cinnamic acid, cinnamic acid. Okay, preparation for cinnamic acid. So you get cinnamic acid. CH double bond CHCOH. This is the preparation of cinnamic acid. Benzyl dehyde to cinnamic acid. As a side product, CH3COOH. Okay, as a side product, CH3COH. Now the last chemical reactions or chemical polymerization. 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 Okay, just you take 
formal dehyde the gaseous formal dehyde you, you can write in this way ch2 o so formal dehyde hcho ch2 o ch2 or you can write ch2 CH2O or even write CH2. You take gaseous formal dehyde. Gaseous formal dehyde. Just you using heat, you get you get this is CH CH2. They know, they know. Then C H two. They know. Then C H two. Then. So this is called trioxal. You can form trioxal. Okay, this reaction is called polymerization reaction how it form it hit this it hit this and it hit this so the matrix formaldehyde to try oxygen okay so <clears throat> Thank you so much. Um, wait for next video. I'm coming soon. Take care of your health. Thank you so much.